Hey, bud. What you do? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunting. Hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Windows, antenna, tires, vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. Ah, <laughs> uh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. Hell, why not? All right, then. Up here with you. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay, you see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. Half the folks in this town would sell their own mother, and most of the other half already did. Screw them. Yeah, that's it. Give them hell. Shoot another one. Uh, uh, not those dishes, Trevor. <laughs> no more reality TV for you, Mrs. Gilbert. Okay, one more for the road. Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy day, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. So, what now? We're gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? Nothing as slippery as that. You'll see. Well, we'll take your vehicle, then. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money and wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe. Them hipsters will give you their parents' last dime for it. It's gotten so I can't even keep up with the demand no more. All this eat local, small batch, farm to table bullshit. You know, I could maybe use another pair of hands if I can get you up to snuff with that rifle. If you keep on criticizing my shooting, you'll be starring in a snuff with that rifle. Here we are. I bet you never shot out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I wanna see how you deal with a moving target. This is perfect right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good, plain, old-fashioned fun. When in doubt, take him out. Nice. Go on, one more, just for the hell of it. It beauty and again, Trevor. Hellfire! Come on, gotta show them sometimes you ain't a slave to the system. You're no redneck. Only in Sandy Shores. Slower than molasses on a cold day. Dumbass. Don't be shy. Tires don't feel no pain. I never knew you were 
Such an agitator, Cletus. All these damn tourists coming out here to gop at rednecks. Give them what they want, I say. Looks like maybe you could use some more practice. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. Just two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks your tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not... Neighborly. We'll get a better shot from up here. See him. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out and the rest should scatter. Be quick about it or they'll get wise to you. Two for one! You're even saving on bullets now. Dropped it like a bad habit. I think you got one more in you, Trevor. Don't let him get the jump on you, Trevor. Gotta line him up good. Hellfire! That should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Eh, uh, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about. What? I gotta reload! Trevor, you're still banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. He's won. Ban him. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a beautiful thing, honey? Anyway, I Whoa. saved your husband. Now give me a drink. I got a meeting. Okay, but any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will not serve you. Mr. Phillips. Ah, uh, here he is. Yes, Mr. Chang, pleasure to meet oh, you. No, I am Mr. Chang's humble translator. Mr. Chang now. <laughs> You all speak Spanish, speak it to each other! Mr. Tao Chung is uh, pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh, yeah, he seems it. What the fuck is wrong with him? I'm out. No, don't go! Please! I beg you, if you go, his father kill me. Why do I give a fuck? You don't. 
but we hear that Trevor Phillips Corporation is serious business. We pay good price. Things work out, we partner, make big money. <laughs> I'm rushing! Well, let me show you the operation. This is us. Kitchen. You can't get here quick enough. The Aztecas are coming. They think you took out Ortega. They ain't mistaken. Well, get down here and take them out, too. You sure your boss don't want this crank for his own personal consumption? No, no. Mr. Chang Sr. is very specific. He wants a good, reliable source of methamphetamine. We will buy from you here and distribute using established networks. I'm worried that might dilute what our operation's all about. We're part of the slow meth movement, bio-regional, locavores only. Mr. Chang Sr. has much money. I wouldn't be the first man to throw morals out the window for a paycheck. Shit, Trevor. We ain't got long. Whoa, 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 whoa. Manor chef. These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. <laughs> Chang and his humble servant. Hey, no uh. sure. <laughs> nice to meet you. Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right. Gentlemen, please, come check out the storage facilities. Go on now. Nice, right? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Ample room inside. Mr. Cheng, please, sir, if you will. Let me out! No. So fun. Tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Yes, chef. Help me! Uh, if I knew we were having visitors, what is that, a little spring clean? They really want you dead. Yeah. Oh, 
motherfuckers! Hey, here he is! out of the ice chest. Hey, all right, time to recommence the tour, gentlemen. <laughs> Woo Woo I think we have seen quite enough. Gaijong. Uh, I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Hey, Trevor, are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! Start, you turd! Whoa! Whoa. gonna meet a bitch, that's where you're gonna meet one, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Give me a sip of that. What? Come on! My throat's dry as a motherfucker. Why? Is your mother dry when you're... <laughs> what the fuck is that, huh? Nothing. Well, it didn't sound like nothing, all right? It didn't seem like nothing. I don't think that it was nothing. No, I didn't mean nothing by it, old man. Old man? Old man! Fuck you, you creepy old motherfucker! That's right. I said it. Creepy. Old. Motherfucker. No. Jesus. Huh? No, come on. Get what? Up. What? What? Sorry. Now, where I'm were sorry. we on, exactly? Get up. Get up. Huh? Get up. Uh, I'm sorry, man. We're sorry. Help! help! There's a guy with a gun. Trash, Sandy Shores. Am 
I creepy now? Am I? Don't mess with me! Take cover! You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite in. Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I have proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Why, Jaho? Why, sir? Yeah, we will bang me. Fang Sung Isha. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? I'm not at liberty to say... Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem since one of them's going to have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them. <laughs> hello, hello. Ah! You suck. So close, I could taste it. Hope you're gonna pay this time, Trevor. You hope what? Forget it. Just don't break anything or hurt me. The cheek of it. Maybe I'll pay, maybe I won't. Trevor Phillips! Elwood O'Neill! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Trevor, it's business! That wide-eyed idiot was mine! It's business, fella! You wanna discuss it? We're at the farm. Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us. Start writing those names on tombstones, cause I'm on the way to your lab and we're gonna see how much of a family meth business you got when I'm done! Mm. All of you are going to 
die! Assholes! Is that too much to ask? A little success, a little happiness! I just spoke to that maniac Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll... Kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse. I guess I'll have to see you later then.
get this! Nothing but a smoldering fucking rat! Everything you built, see how it feels. Here we go. Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor! I've been trying! Come on over here, alright? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying! I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley! There's two Michael Townley living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut up asked... before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I looked through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. And tidy my shit up. Let's go, Wade, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, <laughs> so, so, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? We need some wheels. What? Road trip? 
We taking this one? Get in! Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bumped in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci. Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um... That might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? For fuck's sakes! Another chapter of the lost have descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what are you want to... Well, send them on their way to begin with? Grief has a beautiful way of bringing folk together, Wade. Just you wait. And besides, I brought them gifts. Camp's up here. I'll wait till dark before I drop in again. like some fireworks at a party. Killed everyone. Payback time. 
That's over. Let's get out of town. Los freaking Santos. That go okay? I heard lots of banging and screaming. But then not not the nice kind. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government, they pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired ass movie quotes with my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family? In a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mindfuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mindfuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, T. Trevor? Lube up your eye hole, fucker. Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill. <laughs> Please, don't turn me into anything. I just wanna be away. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story, if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tr... Tri uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have, but he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't, because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. He did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. What could he do? That's it. That giant sprawl, Los Santos. This is the place. I seen it on the holiday card. So, this is Rose Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert. It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life, huh? It's been nearly ten years, but 
which you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Lloyd ain't around here. What are you doing? Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's Vespucci Beach where he's staying. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a had a stick accident like, like I had once. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable, grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob his shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. And maybe a little on the side without call work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls. And the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting Mike off. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd's house. I've seen it on iPhone maps. I'll give you directions. Keep it straight now. Go straight on here. This is the place, I think it is, at least. Floyd! Floyd! Come up here, Trevor! Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? I'm your cousin! Fuck! Come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was caught in Evelyn's bed. A guy was never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. All right, okay. Fuck. 